Hello guys, welcome back to Epinter Stress Club. Today we are going to see from SQL injection to a cell virtual machine. So how we would like to get from SQL to a cell virtual machine. So this lab is developed by Epinter Stress Club team. So I already set up the lab. So what is the basic penetration testing methodologies we used in this? Like we uh, the basic penetration testing methodologies we use the net discover, nmap, vulnerable error based SQL injection exploiting a SQL injection and uploading a web shell and swapping a shell. So we would like to look everything clear in this tutorial. So first of all, just open the terminal. Type sudo su, then enter password. Then you just type net discover minus i is zero. So here I found the, my machine. So I just type quit now. So you just type nmap minus t4 192.168.1.1.2. So the nmap will give you the result. So let's wait. So here is available 22 sh open sh is available, but sh hotkey. Then 80 is available Apache. 2.2.16 it's a debian based so now just open the terminal uh, firefox since the port http is open so we explore uh, using uh, firefox and we would like to see so just type the ip address 192.168.1.1.t and let's see the photo blog is come so my away some photo blog so the last picture is juklu is the photo so just click on home this is the same thing click on test test is like picture ruby juklu then just explore everything and let's see it's in 2010 nothing else then look all pictures Ruby to blue. so only have three pictures. Then look, here is an admin login.php. So it's okay. Now I just come back. We don't know anything, user ID and password. So we would like to do now the SQL error based injection in this. So we'd like to type test. So now we would like to type only the semicolon. So you can see here my Avesan photo blog you have an error in your SQL syntax check the manual that correspond to your MySQL server version for the right syntax to use near at the line one so we got it this one so I would like to go back and I would like to copy this one so come back now. So I would like to do now SQL injections, SQL map minus U and paste the repository. I mean the target list DBS batch. Now let's see. It's doing everything, exploring about these things. So here we got it. If you remember the title, so the title is what we got like a photo blog. So in the database, we got it like information schema and photo blog. Okay, so we would like to go and get everything inside of the photo blog of the database to get the access of admin privileges. So you just type same thing, come back, minus D. This is the database from photo blog photo blog I just used dump all batch so it will dump all the information so you can see here hacker ruby jpj chuflu 
test rucks on 2010 so whatever the information is available inside that data so it was displayed so here it's cracked uh, the admin login page is like admin password is password so now you just directly go here so go for admin so the first task we access the administration console which is which was required the login password in the account so through the sql map command so we found already that user id and password So we would like to enter the username and password. Username is admin. So just copy and paste it. Yes. Now come back. Password is this one. So just copy and paste it. So then you just log in. So you have successfully logged in. Now you have see here hacker Ruby Chuklu. So we would like to exploit this one, the SQL2 uh, SQL2 shell. So we would like to exploit this one. So now we would like to do. So we are successfully done. Congratulations for our first task. So we have successfully done the exploitations. Now the last task is we need to upload a PHP web shell under the administration console. So this is an administration console. We would like to upload this one. So you can see here, add, add a new picture to upload image into the web servers. Click add a new picture to upload image. So I just add. So now what we would like to do here. So just uh, open a new tab. You just type pen test monkey PHP reverse shell. So just open this. So here is a PHP reverse shell. Just go there. In the raw, there is any copy board. So you just click on copy. So it's copied. So now I just come back to the terminal. File, open new tab. So you just need to type mousepad rshell.php then come back and paste it. So in this you just need to look. You need to change this one. So for changing this one, so you just type open new tab, you just type ifconfig. You just need to input your IP address here. So look, you just need to paste it your IP address, don't make any mistake. So just save this, that's it. Then close it, come back here, cat or shell.php, you got it with your targeted IP address. So you are going to upload this one, so just quit this. Type here so netcat minus lvnp1234. So just keep it for listening. Now you just quit this. We know how work now. You just type any name targeted to your wish, charges your wish. Come back to home, php your share, open. Then you just type add. So you got it here like the administration of my away some photo blog. It shows don't upload PHP, no PHP. It's not taking no PHP. So you just come back. IP address here. Come back admin. Come back here. So I would like to change the name. Okay, so just open open this. 
just rename I just type no PHP so I just type small capital HP so just rename that's it come back now type type the same thing just go for upload now yes now upload so I have successfully uploaded the PHP file so now what we would like to do so now we have completed like this one so you just click on your php reverse shell what else you just need so you have done successfully so now you just come back here you can see here now you have successfully done mysql to a shell script you can see here successfully done so you just type list yes so you just type who am i ww data you see you have successfully done so you try it your own guys thank you guys for watching have a great day